thank you for checking out this video. I hope it uh, helps some of y'all hook up a third function valve on a Branson 15 series tractor. If it does help you, you know, maybe if you can sub and like this video and uh, you know, we'll be all fine and dandy. I will add links to all of these in the description. And I uh, hope that helps y'all. Y'all have a good day. And enjoy the video. So this is how I put the third function hydraulic on here. I ordered this from Summit Hydraulic. You need a special fitting right here. Um, basically this is a British straight, well, BSPP fitting, which is like a 3 8 BSPP female to a uh, which I used half or you know half inch fitting so mine goes to a dash eight which is a half inch um, I will leave some links down in the uh, description to the place I got the you know the stuff this hose here feeds into this so it comes around here this is a, um, or excuse me, that's the return line. I'll get it right here in a second. Yeah, that's the return line. Uh, but um, this is an 18 inch hose. I could have went a little longer, but I wanted to keep it as snug as I could there. This is the original hose from the tractor that went to the loader valve up here originally. And I had to get a um, half inch O-ring fitting that goes in here and then it's a 3 8 BSPP these are the actual adapters that I used uh, I got them from uh, Hydraulics Direct uh, they're not real cheap, but they're not too expensive. But the shipping basically cost me almost as much as the parts. I see, you know, you see there it says twenty-four dollars and eighty-nine cents for uh, the parts. Altogether, my bill was forty-two dollars. Um, so I mean, they charge like eighteen, nineteen dollars for shipping, something like that. Um, but this fitting here is a uh, half inch. JIC on this end, and then it's a female 3 8 BSPP, which stands for British Straight Parallel Pipe, I think is the way it is. Anyway, um, or standard parallel pipe. Uh, but I had to use basically two opposite fittings, basically, here. This one here is a o-ring on this side it's a dash eight or half inch o-ring that screws into that summit valve and then it allows me to take the original hose which was a three eighths male you know or it's a female bspp so i had to use a three eighths male here to uh, make it so that that hose would screw back onto the bottom of that summit valve Um, you know, male. So this is a uh, male fitting on each end. O-ring up on the top, and then it's a uh, internal flare on the inside. Uh, like I say, but I'll include the uh, part numbers and where I got them at. Um, then these hoses here I had made. Uh, these are running all the way down here and connect right there those i had uh, made at 96 inches um, that's a good length for this tractor 
and this should work for most of the 15 series Branson tractors, whether you get the whatever 2515, the 3015, the 3515, the 4015, all these. This is a 4815, but you know, that's just the frame size, the 15 part of it. The uh, number before that's just how many horsepower the tractor's got. But, uh, you know, other than that, I mean, it's pretty simple to hook up. I mean, if they just told you right out what hose fittings you needed, that'd be wonderful. But, uh, yeah, and then, you know, hook up this grapple here, um, which I bought from MTL. They're located here in Georgia. So, yeah, that's a... That grapple works real well. If you uh, want to go online here, you can uh, search for them through Google. Uh, like I say, they're uh, located in Georgia. But yeah, you can go here. I think it's under tractor attachments. Yeah. Um, and I think I got the seven. This is the one I got, which was this one here. Yeah, that's it. That's the one I got right there. I mean, which is, I mean, it's it, so far it's good. I mean, it's 3 8 steel plate here, all these parts here. But, uh, I mean, honestly, I'm not going to be trying to rip trees down with this thing like some people do theirs. I mean, my whole idea is just to be able to move logs and brush around. I don't need anything that's going to do all that other stuff. Um, but to actually, they uh, sent a truck up here and delivered it to me directly. So if you're close to them... I mean, I'm about, a, I want to say, maybe 120 miles from them. They actually delivered it directly to me. Um, so, you know, if you're uh, close enough to them, I mean, maybe you can get them just to deliver yours. And, you know, even, you know you, they still charge me the shipping, whatever, in the $40. But, you know, hey, it's all right. They delivered it directly to me. Yeah, good thing here. I'll fire it up and show you real quick that it works. I picked up a couple of decent sized logs with it earlier just to test it out. But this thing seems like it's going to work pretty good. Um, but now, also, I let that down. Now, the way I attached that. You know, it's not perfect, but, you know, I just zip-tied it here at the bottom and the top of this. I will get some uh, split-loom tubing and put over that here pretty soon. I just didn't have none handy when I put this on. I mean, it's not like I'm going to do a bunch of stuff with it. And then I just ran the uh, wire down through this boot here and then out the back of the boot. Then it goes down here and connects. And another thing here, all these uh, weather pack connectors, I use dielectric grease inside of them. So if any water gets in there, it ain't going to mess with the uh, connection either. So it seals out moisture. So you can get you some dielectric grease and put in there when you install them and, you know, just, you know. It's just like buying insurance, so you don't have problems later on down the road. Next to this, and then I just zip-tied that extra long harness they give you. I just zip-tied it down there so it's out of the way. Now, the other end of this, uh, the hot and or positive and negative wires right here, there's a uh, boot up inside here that goes under the dash. So I ran those wires through there. Let's see if I can show you. But I ran those wires up through there, and then I uh, found 
Okay, right in here. Well, yeah, you see the fuse box. Uh, let's see if I can get to it here while I'm recording it. Okay, you see there this fuse box. Now what I did was I put a ring terminal on the one end, which you can see it there at the very top. That's the ground wire. Then the red wire here, I uh, took it and uh, took a female speaker terminal. Uh -huh. Let's see if I can pull this off just to show it to you. Um... Anyway, and I ran it through the other side. You can see it there on the uh, right-hand side. I shoved it through the fuse box. When I say I shoved it through, I mean I shoved the wire through the hole in the fuse box there. Then I, uh, and I took the uh, little plastic ferrule off the back of it, the insulator. And then I crimped it to the wire and then pulled it back through. And then that holds the fuse real well. Um, and that way you use that fuse. That's a spare fuse that's only powered when the uh, tractor is in the run position. So, you know, just so you know. And then you, uh, you're you pretty much done once you get all that hooked up. Alrighty, so yeah, I mean it's pretty simple once you uh you know kind of get the hang of things there, but uh, yeah, just go. You know, I mean if you want a grapple, that's a good grapple. I mean so far as what I can tell, and I mean I've seen very few people talk about this grapple. Um, I mean I saw some people say that you know certain things they didn't like but then again you see that on every grapple out there if you look at all of the all of them but this company here they're in uh, Georgia western Georgia uh, kind of west of Rome uh, where I used to use my old stomping grounds whatever um, but yeah so you just uh, if you're looking for something you order that if you tell them when you order it that you want it with the Pioneer fittings which is what I used, they automatically put the skid steer, those flat face fittings on there. Uh, but they, uh, when he delivered it, he just handed me the uh, other one says, here, you're supposed to have these two with it because they'll give you the other ones for free. So if you, you know, even if you don't want to use the Pioneer fittings, if you tell them you want to use them, they'll give them to you because, I mean, they're just good people like that. Uh, so they, uh, you know, but they already put the uh, skid steer flat face fittings on there. And rather than, I guess, build them specifically the way you want them, they'll just, you know, basically uh, send you the fitting to go on there separate, you know, and not really charge you anything extra for it. So, yeah, go with something like that. That's pretty cool, though, the way they uh, do these. Um, and mine looks almost identical to what you got here. I, mean, I know a few little things that are different, but not much. Uh, but yeah, get your hoses. Uh, I say uh, 96 inch hoses to go down to the loader to the front. Uh, I say I use half inch fittings on a 3 8 hose. I ordered them that way. That was one reason I ordered them from Discount Hydraulic Hose is because they make them the way you want them. And I ordered them with a uh, 45 up on the top where it actually, you know, basically attaches to the uh, summit loader valve, you know, third function valve there. Um, and that way it just gets the hoses kind of turned toward the front of the tractor. Um, so it makes it easier to route them that way. Uh, so just straight fitting on one end, 45 on the other. Uh, there's their part numbers. Uh, you know, so if you order it with the, uh, you know, FJX 
45-06-08 on one end. And then you order it with the FJX-06-08. That's just the straight fitting. So you just order it that way. And then you got your hoses. Uh, and then the other one is just straight fittings on both ends. You know, and that's an 18-inch hose. And that works for me. You could go a little longer if you wanted to. But it's just funny to me that they don't tell you, hey, it's real simple to hook one of these up. I mean, it's like, why would you pay a company $1,000 to hook this up for you? Um, I mean, I bought mine on sale during Christmas. I think I paid $560 for this kit here. Um... You know, whereas, I mean, if you go and, you know, to a tractor place, they're going to charge you $1,000 for the kit. And plus, they're going to charge you to install it. Um, just can't see spending that kind of money. But that's just me. So just do that. Get these adapters. You know, along with this kit here, get it with the uh, half-inch ag or pioneer fittings. Uh and like I say, that's pretty much what you need to hook it up. And then uh, you'll be good to go, uh, hopefully. If you have any questions, feel free to, you know, shoot me a uh, comment, you know, down below. And I'll uh, try to get back to you as soon as I can. I, mean, I don't check this stuff all the time. I mean, I stream on um, Twitch a lot. But I don't have a lot of people that ask me questions about tractors and stuff like that. But... Uh, Feel free to, if you uh, want to, you know, jump into my Twitch chat. If you see me online, you know, give me a follow there. And uh, when I'm streaming, if you have a question, then I'll try and answer any question I can there if possible. Uh, but yeah, just, you know, hit that subscribe button here if you don't mind. And, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up if that helped you at all. And uh, I hope you all have a good day. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope it uh, helps some of y'all hook up a third function valve on a Branson 15 series tractor. If it does help you, you know, maybe if you can sub and like this video and, uh, you know, we'll be all fine and dandy. I will add links to all of these in the description. And I uh, hope that helps y'all. Y'all have a good day. And enjoy the video.